Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Extreme 90s video as we head to the future now, 2024, with an early look at the brand new Nacelle Toys Biker Mice from Mars action figure line. Remember Biker Mice? They're back, but not in pog form, in action figure form, of course. Moto will be our number one mouse we'll be looking at today. He's a cyborg mouse with a rocket gun and a hot dog. Yes, every single one of these biker mice come with a hot dog, and I really like the packaging they went with on this. It's very 90s, but in a very cool way. It's got really nice artwork every which way. It has a little bit of a write-up on the back. And at the top, now a major animated reboot, which is coming soon. And you can collect all the Biker Mice from Mars radical action toys. I love it. It just screams 90s to me, right? You can read up on old Moto right here if you'd like. And on the bottom, not too much to talk about. But I like the Nacelle Galoob looking logo right there. That is a nice 90s touch. Next up, we have Vinny. Basically, Raphael and Michelangelo mixed together, but more on that later on, of course. He's the mouse with a cool attitude. He's not rude. It's going to be the same type of box. You're going to get all the same type of illustrations, the whole radical action, and you can read up on old Vinny. And while he was cool on the front, he may be hot-headed on the back. You can read up on old Vinny. And of course, the number one figure for me, Throttle, leader of the biker mice, a regular Jackson Teller, right? For all you Sons of Anarchy fans out there. Man, that was a great show. But he comes with a sprocket launcher and, of course, his hot dog. The box, again, will be the same exact with his own personal throttle bio. And you can read up on that right here. Talks about his tattoo. We'll check that out. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, rev up those motorcycles, this is a look at the brand new Wave 1 Biker Mice from Mars by Nacelle Toys. And while I got all you Miceketeers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like, like biker mice from Mars. And of course, to kick things off, we have the one, the only, the little white mouse with the Phantom of the Opera mask, Vinny. And I have to say, just to point out, at the $35 price point that these are at, with prices being what they are today, you sure do get a lot of accessories in the box. Like a couple extra hands, you got hot dog holding hands, weapon holding hands, and you have punching hands. The paint, as you'll soon see throughout this video, definitely needs to be improved upon. A lot of the black bleeds into the white. Each of the biker mice come with a blaster weapon, just like this. Yellows, reds, purples, it's really well done. And I'm stoked because at the tip, it kind of looks like you could put a blast effect in there as well. And I'm happy to say that with the corresponding hands, yes, Vinny will have no problemo holding that blaster. And as they touted in all the marketing for these figures, every single biker mice comes with a hot dog, and I really hope that's a Costco hot dog, because dag nabbit for a buck fifty, that's a darn good hot dog. And I'm happy to say again that with the corresponding hot dog holding hands, yes, you can hold said hot dog. Now the weapon right here, which is a crowbar weapon, very befitting of a, a biker from Mars, right? I like the paint on it, the wash, it looks like a crowbar with the finish and the paint. And yes, very happy to say that he also holds the weapons very nicely. So across the board, everything looks great. But hey, remember when Galoob used to make these things? Well, they've included the old-fashioned weapons as well. So you do get the grip claw for old Vinny, and I love just the effect of it. I like that they really kept that going, and he holds that nicely as well. But does he have extra head portraits, you say? Well, yes, most definitely. And this one is more of the fun-loving Vinny, or right before he's about to take a bite from the hot dog. Yes, your eyes do not deceive. That is a little bit of a blotch right there on his eyeball. But for the rest of the paint on this head portrait, it's pretty well done. But yes, of course, it has to be right there on the eyeball. And the antennas are actually really nice as well. They're not going to be too bendy flexy, so don't force anything. But there's enough give there to at least 
kind of sort of fiddle around with them, but they're not on a bendy wire or anything like that. You also do get the helmeted head. So for those of you waiting for the motorcycles, which are coming soon, you'll be more than prepared. And yes, for the most part, everything is very crisp and clean, and I like the clear visor. That's a nice touch. So overall, yes, I'm very excited for when the motorcycles come in to really utilize this. The action figure himself. I'm going to save you some time here. If you don't want to sit throughout this entire video, there are some issues, like any action figure line. But dang, these are nice and crisp and clean, and they're very animated looking. And for that alone, I totally appreciate it. Articulation will be something you'll probably want to stick around and discuss, just as an FYI. But all the rivets, everything that needs to be painted, there's no peg holes on the bottom, just as a heads up, but everything else, all the little nuances and whatnots, yes, everything is nicely painted, everything moves, everything just looks nice, bright, and it's very fun looking action figure, which, when it comes to biker mice, I would hope that they would be fun. You do get plenty of articulation in the head. Get him looking up, down, left, right. You get the idea, right? So no problems there whatsoever. Now, to swap the heads, pretty easy. Not just popping off every two seconds, but it is nice to say that, yes, it's not going to be something you have to overly force. And, yes, there's that speck on the eye again. His little bandana around his neck. Once in a while, this would pop up or you'd have to kind of fiddle with it. Once you get it in the sweet spot, it does stay really nicely over the back of him. So no problems there whatsoever. The articulation itself. Lots of articulation. Plenty of articulation for a collector like me. You got it in the arms, the bicep. You got double jointed elbows, which are pinless. But then as you see, it's a very mechanical looking articulation point within the elbows. And that to me is something I don't like. It just looks out of place. They are pinless, but it is within right there that it just doesn't fit the aesthetics. That being said, if you turn the figure around on the backside of his knees, yes, it'll have the same type. That's on the back, which doesn't bother me too much, but it's when it's enveloped within the skin tone, quote unquote, you really do notice it. However, while he's pinless at the elbows and the knees, you can clearly see that there is a pin at the wrist, which he does have ball jointed wrists, which some of you might go, mm, I don't know about that. But I'm happy to say that it does provide enough articulation for this figure, especially in the ab crunch, which I'm happy to say they added after the fact of talking with the fans and showing the initial figures. It's one of the best ab crunches I've seen in a while. He has waist swivel, you have tail swivel, so that, yes, as you'll soon see when you want to put him on the motorcycles, it will work with you, and also in posing him, you can get him in all kinds of dynamic looking stances, so it does work with you. The legs. This is where I think a lot of people are going to go, why does it have the ball joint articulation? Well, that's the style they went with. Does it work? It totally does. You've got thigh articulation, which will help in putting him on those motorcycles. He also has double jointed knees, which I think looks really good, especially with the knee pad right there. And then he'll also have some boot swivel as well, which again, that will aid in putting him on the motorcycle with the feet, the rock, they'll go up, down, left, right, side to side. Again, no peg holes on the bottom, but I'm happy to say with minor grievances overall, this is a pretty stellar beginning to the Biker Mice from Mars return. Now, continuing on, we have the big old cyborg mouse himself, Modo. And I like this figure a lot because he's pretty big. I thought at first that all the Biker Mice were kind of kind of be around the same size. No. No, they're not, and you'll soon see that. It's because he comes with some extra hands. Now, this side is obviously his cyborg hand, and the paint looks really good. Grays, reds, and a lighter gray. You also get his other gloved hands, his more, not to say human, but mouse flesh hands, right? <laughs> Hot dog, anyone? Yes, Moto does come with his hot dog. All of the hot dogs are painted the exact same, as are his blasters, which again... The blaster fits in his hand perfectly, and he poses really nicely. 
I really like what's going on here. Plus, he does come with his rocket gun, which is a nice gold. It has a silver tip. Nothing launches out, though, which is kind of a disappointment. I wish it would have been some kind of projectile firing. It's very light, but in that sense, yes, he does hold it well. He comes with a corresponding hand to hold his old rocket gun, but it does have nice paint overall. Now, much like Vinny, you do get extra head portraits. This is more of his grinning head, right? He's up to something. He's got some gold earrings. He's got the David Bowie eye patch, his antennas, and, of course, a little blotch of yellow paint right there. But it's funny, I didn't even notice it until I started moving it around because it hides within the crease of the sculpt of the mouth, oddly enough. Now, you do get a helmeted head portrait, which again, looks great, the paint is great, and this is where I thought to think, do the visors come out? Lo and behold, yes. Well, at least Modo's visor comes off. And of course, inside you get to see the paint is nice and crisp. Nothing is a blotchy mess. Nothing is hindered by the visor. Then I started to think, well, wait a minute. Does Vinny's visor come off? And I would think that yes, it does come off some way, somehow. Did I get it off? No, there really isn't a place to slip your fingernail underneath and kind of pry it off, so just as a heads up. And with Moto himself, he's a big, burly biker mouse. And again, just to point that out, I was thinking they're all gonna be kind of like Ninja Turtle style, right? They all share the same body types, it's just kind of mixing and matching pieces. No, he's quite a bit larger than Vinny and Throttle. He's gonna have the same exact articulation, albeit now he has a mechanical arm, just as a heads up, but, Everything for the most part is painted nicely. The mechanical arm is very cool. One thing to point out though, for whatever reason, they painted the ball joint on his mechanical arm. So when you started swapping out the hands, it really started to chew up the paint. That's a bummer, I will point out. But in putting the hand on, you really won't see that unless you chew it up too much and it starts to go into the parts where you can see it without the hands. It does have a single elbow and he will spin at the bicep. So essentially it's the same except that one side is a double jointed elbow and then his mechanical arm is single jointed. He's kind of like Jet from Cowboy Bebop, right? But again, I like that they've included so many painted parts that's really exceptional, except that in some instances, like right here at the front of his chest plate with the yellow box, it gets kind of chewed up, and of course, it's right in the front. He's got the same type of ab crunch, which works really well, side to side, left to right, up and down. He goes back quite a bit, but keep in mind, if you go back too far, it will pop out of the ball joint. So really, there's a finite position to really go until you're kind of forcing it. So just keep that in mind. And just before we get to the legs, which I will point out, you'll probably want to heat these up. He does have the waist. You can kind of move the belt around too if you want. He has the tail, which again, kind of acts as the ab crunch. If you push it up to a certain extent, the ball joint will pop out. So that's one thing. It's not overly loose or anything, but it's just something not to force. The legs, however... At the ball joint, at the groin, you may want to heat those up. Those were a little bit stuck for me. He's got the thigh, he's got the double jointed knee. Nothing was loose in the leg. He's got the boots that go up and down, left and right, side to side. Again, no peg holes on the bottom. But I did notice that on the other leg, as I started to move it around, it got a little bit too loose than I would uh, uh, like to see for a brand new figure. So it may not be on all of them, but on that one leg, yeah, I did definitely notice that. So again, with Moto, while I like his big burly size, all his weapon choices, it really just is the paint that is the grievance with this figure. And then, to finalize the Biker Mice team, we got the one, the only, the leader of the Biker Mice, Throttle. And he will always be my favorite. He's just the epitome of the Biker Mice from Mars, right? <laughs> the character design for this one is just exemplary. But as you can see, he does come with just as many accessories, which is always great. You have the more just basic flesh tone hands, which those look good. Fisted hands, open hands, hot dog holding hands. And on this side of his gloved hands, 
Well, we almost escaped the paint mishaps, right? You can clearly see on the gloves, they missed it. But the backside of the gloves are painted nicely. Comes with the blaster weapon, which again, I'm happy to say, looks really good in hand. I like that they all come with the same blaster. And yes, just so everyone can rest easy, he does come with a hot dog. Although, a bitten off hot dog, that would be kind of cool. He does come with his sprocket launcher, which, much like Vinny's crowbar, has the same exact type of paint. And with the hands provided, yes, he can definitely hold the sprocket launcher very well. It just really gives that whole nostalgicness to these types of figures. However, in firing it off, it might be a little bit difficult to do with one hand, just as an FYI, but I can honestly tell you it definitely fires those sprocket launchers. Mine literally flew across my office. And yes, he does come with extra sprockets, which are kind of sort of trash can lids and then kind of sort of hubcaps, we'll just say, which again will be very befitting of a Biker Mice from Mars line. And I love just kind of firing it off. It's a lot of fun. It totally takes me back. It's like all the toys of the 90s, and it's just cool to do in slow-mo. You do get some extra head portraits, which out of all the head portraits and all the figures, Throttle, I think, has the best ones going. He also fares the best in terms of paint, the antennas, the glasses, with which, yes, they are removable, although it does look like he's seen some things, horrifying things. <laughs> But yes, if you were wondering, the glasses are definitely removable, and they just look cool overall. That's a good head portrait. And he does come with the helmeted head portrait. Again, much like Vinny's, I'm sure you could probably take it off some way, somehow, but I cannot get my fingernail underneath, nor do I really want to, right? It's just, you know what's underneath. It is clear plastic. Now, with Throttle, again, one of my favorite designs, especially of the Biker Mice Trio, that is just cool. If you get any of them, get Throttle. I even like his little biker mouse tattoo right there. That's really cool to see. The details, the colors, the paint. It's ridiculously 90s while being awesomely 2024, I will say. Also, with all the extra details, like the sculpted in gun to the holster, I like that they did that. Although, I will show you when you move the leg around, that can be kind of cumbersome. He has his belt with all the pouches on it the jackets, everything is painted beautifully. Like I'll say, Throttle definitely fares the best overall, at least on mine, in terms of the paint. I'm really happy that he just looks so crisp and clean, right? Of course. Now, in terms of the articulation, same exact as the other biker mice, left, right, up, and down. The glasses do come off on that head portrait as well. The arms will go all the way up, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and of course you have the wrist articulation, which I think for those of you out there that are really sticklers for articulation, will find a lot of value with these. Again, especially in the ab crunch, the legs, no problem kicking out, double jointed knees, thigh swivel, you got the whole feet going on. On this side, like I said, because of the holster being connected, you'll kind of have to take your time a little bit more with this just to make sure that the holster kind of moves down fluidly, right? But once you learn it, once you get it going, it really doesn't hinder it all too much. And it definitely won't hinder him when you want to put him on a motorcycle. Again, he's got the boot cuff, he's got the feet articulation, no peg holes on the bottom, and the tail articulation as well. So again, through and through, all three biker mice, pretty solid articulation for the most part. Some of it will be kind of antiquated, let's be honest, but at least it sets out to do what you want them to do, and you can put those glasses up a-okay. Now, what do these characters go with? What will these figures scale with? Well, you could try with DC Multiverse, of course. Those are more in that seven-inch scale, of which, yes, I would say biker mice definitely are. And I would say, yeah, McFarlane Toys is definitely on the table if you want to include them in to the DC Universe or Nacelle Universe, right? A little crossover amalgam action. Hasbro Marvel Legends. They're around the six-inch mark. Vinny, as the smaller of the biker mice, fits in a whole heck of a lot better. But I would say, give or take, with some characters, some may fit. So yes, between McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse and Hasbro Marvel Legends, it'll be a give or take situation. But all of those aside... It's really the Ninja Turtles, right? Those are the ones that I really wanted to know if they would scale well. And I'm happy to say, from Super 7 and NECA Toys, yes, the Biker Mice will go very nicely with either of these. Especially since, well, we all know where the Biker Mice came from. All those anthropomorphic knockoffs of the 90s. 
beautifully represented here. And then just to show you some scale with some Spiro toys and then some premium DNA with their battle toads. Yes, those will go nicely as well. Animal warriors across the universe, right? Doesn't matter from toads to mice to panthers. Yeah, you can get quite the menagerie on your shelf. But how do they fare on a motorcycle? And while I don't have those motorcycles in hands just yet, I talked to old Ghost Rider here and he agreed to let us borrow the bike. And I'm happy to say that yes, even with more of a six inch scale bike, Throttle will definitely fit very well on the bike. So, yes, I would assume that once we have the actual Biker Mice bikes in hand, we should have no problem doing exactly what these Biker Mice should do when they come from Mars. And if you're wondering, yes, Vinny will sit very nicely. Again, Vinny being on the smaller end of the scale, he definitely fits onto the motorcycle and... Moto does as well. While he is a little bit bigger, as you can clearly see, you'd have no problem with the attached hands and holding on to any of the handlebars. So very happy to say that, yes, they fit great. But with everything that's come before, how do we square up now? The original Galoob Biker Mice from Mars figures were great back in the day. But the new Nacelle toys have definitely improved upon the products. And I'm happy to say that, yes, if you are a fan of Biker Mice from Mars, if this is your thing, look no further because Nacelle Toys have really elevated Biker Mice from Mars. They will have some older looking articulation. They'll have some more mechanical looking articulation. They need to improve the paints, but dang it all, these are some pretty fun action figures. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Nacelle Toys Biker Mice from Mars Wave 1 action figures. Pretty solid overall. This is one of those cartoons for me back in the day where you'd watch it from time to time. It's more of the idea, right? You have these just extreme mice from Mars riding motorcycles and getting into fights with Plutarchians and everything else, which, by the way, Lawrence Limburger was recently announced. So that will be the fourth figure in the wave. The bikes will be coming shortly as well. And if you did order any of the biker mice, probably look for these hitting your mailboxes before the end of March. The shipments just came in, so now they're just in the process of getting them out to everyone who ordered them. And overall, as I said, improve upon a few things here and there, but for me, in the totality of just displaying these as the biker mice from Mars, they definitely nailed it. Cartoon likenesses, colors, and all. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Biker Mice from Mars. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. But I'm stoked to see what Nacelle Toys is going to do with the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. And you knows those go with the TMNT. That'll be fun. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a fantastic weekend.